Hello, my Brood War brother, and welcome back to your daily dose of Brood War. Who doesn't like to watch a little a J Donger? A J Dinger? I'm still working on that one, guys. Another game with J Dong here. Up in the top left hand corner. Down in the bottom right, we've got Paralyze. Who has been uh, you know, on the up and come. Uh, uh. Coming up on the up and come? What the heck am I saying? Alright, I'm a little bit off today. Doing some moving recently. In a totally new environment, so... Bear with me here, guys. On the plus side, you know, we've... Uh, we've upgraded... what We've upgraded the apartment situation. And the internet situation is much, much better now as well. So there, there's some good things coming in the future, guys. I'll have some updates for you soon. Hatchery here, gonna be forced out over at the third base and we've gone gateway first. So some zealot pressure is incoming here. I mean, quite a few shots with this first probe on that drone. Gonna try and fire over the mineral patches. Not gonna be able to get it done there. Could have maybe hit this drone right there, but this drone right here, not possible. So, gonna instead try to harass this bottom patch, and it's gonna do a pretty good job of it. Although, Jadon should be on top of that. A professional. Not going to be bothered by just a one pesky probe here. Trying to fight at the top of the ramp before we get down here. Maybe make some space for himself to make a run for that next hatchery try to get as much damage down on this he missed the moving shot unfortunately but he still might be able to kill this or at least get this hatchery down before the the, the zealot arrives no it's not gonna happen okay gets that can he get it down can he get it oh he got it that was close and i'm, I'm sure that was loud i apologize it's so important that you get that hatchery down, and when it doesn't go down, it is just such a pain for the Zerg player. So I really felt it there. Mm, losing a drone, though. Ooh, that's not good. And he's losing a lot of mining time here, too. Wait a second. He gets a second drone. That is way too bad. That is way, 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 way bad. Paralyzed doing a great job there with that first sell it. Getting a couple of drone kills. Despite not being able to draw, to block the uh, natural hatch going down for too long. I mean, the drone kills are just so good. Oh, he catches this zealot, though. Paralyzed messing up there. Being a little too greedy, trying to get some more damage done. Does lose the zealot pretty quickly to these lings. I don't think... Did he get one ling? I think he might have got one. So, not the greatest follow-up there, but the two drone kills, that cannot be underestimated. That is so big. It is so much damage, and back at home, he's going to be completely safe. Photon cannon warping in here. The natural nexus is done. Probes have been transferred. Everything looking nice and shiny and good for Paralyze here. As more buildings warp in from ire. His life is for a dune. So, more zealots going to be heading out on the map. Three zealots, in fact. And this will force even more lings out of Jadong. And he really doesn't want to be producing lings right now. He'd like to be getting up to 973, which is the whole point of this build. And what he's doing right now. 973. He's got 8, 1, 6. That's not quite what you're looking for here, but... Nonetheless, he's going to start producing lings. He's going to go ahead and jump on these zealots when he gets the chance. Oh, another drone going to go down. Oh, that's so frustrating. Two more drones going to go down. But you know what? That's not that bad. One drone, I guess. The most important thing is, though, that he kills this zealot. Because pretty soon, you know what's going to happen is... Oh, and this zealot, too. Oh, my God. He really needs to kill this zealot here. Oh, he just barely... Doesn't lose that drone. And actually, this is an overlord popping out. So, he needs to get rid of these zealots here very promptly. So that he can start to build hydras. Because that's going to be coming here soon. Six drones in production. Means he is going to go all the way up to 973. So, there's the seven. 
There is the nine. And we've actually got much more than three here. So four, five, six, seven. So nine, seven, seven, which is not really a build, but it's going to be kind of a delayed Hydralis bust, which is fine. It's going to be completely fine here. A lot of lings have been made. He needs to find this Zealot, and he will. So finding the Zealot is big. It's going to be able to clear a path for these Hydras to come across the map. And we don't have a uh, Corsair out just yet. So something delayed that Corsair a bit. You can see it's six minutes already. We should have had a Corsair out. Um, he must have been a little bit too heavy on the micro. Something like that. Something's went wrong here for Paralyzed. Because he's not going to know that Hydras are coming. In a situation that he really should have been able to see that coming. Hydralis den here, you know. Or uh, Hatchery, excuse me. There you go. He sees the Hydras now, but it is way too late. Way too late. The Hydras are already here. The range is about to be done. Range is going to be done before these cannons warp in. So, I mean, if Jadong were a little bit more savvy here, I think he could have actually run up and killed all this. He's going to get one cannon for sure. The Zealots here doing a pretty good job. Actually getting three, four Hydras right off the bat. And this is why you don't generally see a Hydralis bust, like 973 Hydralis bust at least, versus a Gateway first. It's because it's really not that good. The cannon, or the, the Zealots are going to buy the time for the cannons. And although he did throw away quite a few, having those three Zealots was insanely beneficial it helps so much in holding this off any kills on these yet no we do not good job defending here from Jadung. looks like he's gonna lose this i don't know if he got plus one down um it's possible no he didn't so plus one is cancelled speed is on the way here four gates in the main he's gonna follow this up with just a big old attack here and i don't know how successful it's going to be we've got zero kills still on these Finishing up all of the cannon here. And what was looking like a great game from Paralyze is now starting to fall back into the favor, I think, of Jadong. It's lucky that Paralyze didn't just straight die to this, but this was not super all in. You know, he added on a lot of drones and those extra hatches before really the Hydralis bus fully came through. And he hasn't lost any overlords, which is actually big. Very, very big, very, very big move there from Jadong to keep all of these alive despite having no speed and limited resources here while trying to drone up. Very nicely done. You know, it's so easy to accidentally pop an Overlord in the main or pop one out here, and then you know you have to come up and defend this one, but then the the Corsairs come in here, or you're defending down here and they come in here and get this, or maybe you pop an Overlord over here. Things can go wrong very quickly is what I'm trying to say. It looks like he was thinking about making a spire back here, but he made it somewhere else. We're in the main base. I don't know why that drone would be behind there if not for the spire. And going up to six hatch. Has plus one on the way. Spire is kind of a backup measure, I think. Because he definitely needs just mass hydra here to hold on. And overlords are going to die. Paralyze is not out of this game. He survived. He didn't take many probe losses. And, I mean, he was forced to build a lot of cannons at kind of an awkward time. He lost all his zealots. He lost his plus one. But he started two more forges. So he's double upgrading here. And Paralyze, I think he's going to be all right. I think he's going to have a good chance in this game. If he can get over here. He killed two overlords. I mean, this, this is not a lot of Corsairs. You can't really kill Overlords that quickly. Lurker's on the way as well. So Jadong really going for a longer term idea here. Maybe he wants to come across and just hold the bridges here. That can be a really strong maneuver. Holding the middle of the map is actually essential to holding this base over here against Protoss. Because even though Zerg can put Lurkers here and maybe hit a couple of probes... If the Protoss puts a Templar here and storms this, you just can't send any workers to the minerals at all. You just have to abandon that as an option completely, which, I mean, that kind of defeats the purpose of actually expanding. So, I mean, you can still get the gas, but 
really minerals are more important in this specific matchup gas still very important but minerals much much more so now we have five mutas and five mutas can one shot a probe so it's gonna take uh, we're, we're gonna see some damage coming out here zealots are gonna be pushed back Plus one, plus one is about to finish, but it's not quite there yet. Plus two is already on the way here. Coming in now for the probe kills. Gonna get some of those. We should have storm, but we're not gonna cast it just yet. Holding off on that for now. Only losing a couple of probes, so not the biggest deal in the world, but he will be building a dark Archon, interestingly. Archon here in the main. He does not want to continue to produce Scourge here. Instead, gonna rely on Maelstrom. Which has not been... Oh, he spots it, though. That's unfortunate. 14 drones in production here. With this uh, mutilus threat out on the map and lurkers being made, I guess the play is just go double hatch over here at the fourth base. Huge macro and a big contain here. While he allows Paralyze to take this third, he's going to take a massive macro edge in this game very hard for paralyze to break out at this point i don't think he's going to be able to do it does he even have an observatory yes he does critically having that observatory but no observers i don't think out just yet he's developing maelstrom there's the observer so he could potentially try to push out but it's going to be very hard with one single observer one snipe is going to take that out and mutas are actually surprisingly good at taking out uh, those observers I think even better in fact than scourge scourge do one shot the observers oh my god he lost the dark archon that is painful it's funny we recently watched a game with DeWalt who was controlling his own dark archon really really well and uh, you know keeping very good tabs on it and getting maximum value out of that unit it can be so incredibly valuable in this matchup if you just control it properly and get the spell off at the right time but here paralyze losing track of his dark archon and letting it wander out into jadong's contain really not how you want to do that and instead of setting up a contain over here funnily enough which is what most zerg players will do is try to contain this area you know set up a bunch of lurkers in a wide arc here jadong's instead decided to take this area which is going to tempt i think paralyze to instead of going ham and trying to break out he's gonna just take a fourth base and i think that that's what jadon wants here he's maxing ling and getting those upgrades it's gonna be a while before ling attacks starts to come in so he wants to kind of buy some time here while he goes up to defiler and you know hive with the the lings and adrenal and all that good stuff Hearing some attacks from Amita. Maybe a Templar went down there. I'm not 100% sure. Just checking out the rallies. Can be a great place to pick up some Templar kills. But here we go. Running in with the Lings. Just kind of buffering here for the Lurkers. Which are sitting at the back. Dealing that damage to these Zealots. And now that most of the Zealots are gone. You can't really push forward too strongly here as paralyzed it's too scary to try and move uh, forward here because ling overwhelming this army could just be the end of your game if you push a little bit too hard and you don't have enough splash enough zealots in that army lings get around that and just crush all of your dragoons and then the backbone of your army is gone now Lings are going to flood across here. They're looking for maybe a kill on a Templar or something like that. Just kind of checking the location of those rallies is also good. Do not want to walk across this bridge right now, but getting a good storm. Kind of whiffs that storm. The second one not really landing on anything there, unfortunately. But Paralyze will hold this bridge. And one thing I like to do as a Zerg player is watch for this army to push forward and see where the reinforcements are going in this area right here it's very hard to get back over towards your natural if the lurkers are still here so when you're taking these fights here and my god is jadon ever taking this fight he's gonna come forward and snipe the observer he's got some 
Defiler's out, but it looks like Consume's not done, so I don't know why he's sending those forward right now. But I guess he was just box selecting everything and trying to get stuff to the front as soon as possible. But you see this move? You gotta have your Overlord over here a little bit. If you see this move, you can come across and set up a bunch of Lurkers right there. And it really hurts the Protoss. It makes them multitask so much to get their army moving. And look at this. He's actually going to accidentally send army this way when he's trying to send it up here to assist. He does pull that back. But, like, if you can get the Lurker on top of... Your Lurkers on top of the rally point of the Protoss, it really harms them. It slows them down so much. And uh, we're not going to have that here as Jadong. Instead, he's just going to push forward does not have plague yet dark swarm is going to be the key here stopping the dragoons from really doing anything in this fight except for blocking their zealot buddies from actually running forward and doing anything and the yeah dragoons just literally doing absolutely nothing would be better to just focus the dragoons on the overlords actually or maybe this defiler right here would be a good choice but instead all of them firing on one dragoon or one lurker under dark swarm which is the opposite of helpful and now these dragoons getting that big plague on them. Zealot's just kind of feeding in right now. There we go. Coming forward with the Hydras. Going to start to pick off these dragoons. Dragoons die so quickly after they've been plagued to these Hydras. So starting to push this all back. We don't have any more splash here aside from that one Archon that just died. So one more Dark Swarm coming down will be the end of this. And GG is called. Paralyzed gets pushed out of this game Jadon coming back from a bit of a deficit early but playing a very nice style I like this on Dark Origin you know what I might copy this I feel like this is a really great way to play going for the early lurker you know five mutas getting into this containment here and then containing here let me actually pull up my uh my tool here Okay, it's not going to work. Never mind. That doesn't work. Well, I was going to draw on the map, but instead we'll just look at it. Setting up the containment right here. And just daring the Protoss to take a fourth base while you've already got your fourth base online and your hive is on the way going right into Lurker uh, or going right into Defiler with Crackling and just gutting it out in the late game. I feel like that's it's not a bad way to play if you're capable of hitting your macro cycles. Um, and it certainly worked well for Jadong here. The problem I have with this map is a lot of the time the Protoss will bust out with their first army and take the middle of the map and then everything just becomes so hard on this map. You can't mine from here as I said before. You can't take this base over here. This base is really hard to take. Coming across these bridges when there's storms on this side is nearly impossible. So you end up having to come around. It's just not a very fun position to be in. But Jadong just had complete control with the decision making here. Setting up that contain over here and setting up this contain over here. He played his game and he really controlled the Protoss' way of thinking, right? He... He forced the Protoss into his way of playing, although it still is strong to have four bases as Protoss. Jadong never felt out of control in this game, except for in the very early when he lost two, Zeal uh, two drones to that early Zealot. Which is very painful, but glad to see Jadong is looking good here in 2024. That he is getting his game back in preparation for ASL. Watching him on stream a little bit lately. And guys, I'm going to be streaming soon myself. So keep an eye out for that. Until then, I'll see you guys in the next video.